Hello everyone, this is Dark Sora 446 here, and welcome back to Sly 2 Band Thieves. Last time, Murray and Sly got captured, as well as Carmelia, because apparently, Neela betrayed us. And now it's up to Bentley to set them all free. So let's head straight into, lo into episode 4, Jailbreak. Looks like Bentley's on his own for this one. Let's do it! Wonder what we have in store. It took a sleepless week of data crunching, but I eventually tracked down the location of my friends, locked away in the mysterious towers of Frog. At the moment, they're the unwilling guests of Interpol's most renowned prison warden, the Contessa. While still a criminal psychology student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the union was short-lived, as the general suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. The widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. My friends are locked up somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's good Samaritan brainwashing. If I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a nine-to-five job selling shoes, and I'll be out two best friends. Bentley saves the gang in jailbreak. Liz well, the first. Well, we are. Well, Bentley is on his own. So, anyway, our main objective of this episode. Is to get our friends back. But first, let's see if they can sell. And ooh, <laughs> there's some good stuff here. But I can only buy like uh, two of them. And I'm gonna get a burst and alarm clock as right now because we'll need the alarm clock anyway. Plus the drilling burst, we can use it. <laughs> I should make my way over to the Contessa's house. Maybe I'll pick up a few leads on the location of Sly and Murray. Yep. So let's head straight over there. Hopefully without too much trouble. Just let's see where they're being holed up. I think it's over here. Yep. And okay, I have no idea why I put a bomb out. I did not press triangle. Alright. Apparently you have it out for me today, game. And Whoa! Okay. Okay, I did not hold down down on the stick for that. I think my controller is dying. If that's the case. That's like really bad, and I almost got spied by a tank. Because if if I did, that would have been really hurt. And yeah, speaking of which, oh, I know now I remember where to go. Aha! Hey, up here. And see you later, werewolves. Yeah, I'll admit, this level is pretty dang creepy. I mean, just look at it. I mean, Prague is actually like this. I would probably not go there, but I would probably go there out of curiosity. Well, anyway, let's do the mission. If I could pull it up first off. Oh, come on. Eavesdrop on Contessa, so let's do it. The Contessa is out making her rounds. Wait a second. The feathers on my sleep darts vibrate near sound. If I maintain my position on top of this parabolic dish, I should be able to hear that frequency at a distance. This is great. If I tag the Contessa with my darts, I'll be able to listen in on whatever she says. I might even learn where she's locked up Sly and Murray. 
Okay, I don't know how that works, but all right, we'll deal with it. Wait, right, first one. Ah, oh, I missed. Really? I right, hope number two. There we go. The Claw Gang is falling apart. Spice shipments have overstocked. <sighs> I never would have joined if I'd known it would be this easy to disrupt the plan. At least the Cooper Gang is under lock and key. Their lopsided morality flies in the face of man's inherent selfishness. How well? This is my way soon enough. So apparently the Contessa is part of the Claw Gang. Interesting. Those fools at Interpol. They keep sending me criminals and I keep making money. How come no one ever thought of this before? Hypnotize criminals and force them to reveal where they've hidden their fortune. I'm a genius. If only I had more spice to help me with the hypnosis. Ah, so apparently the spice plays a factor into it. I mean, the way she wakes, makes money is not a bad idea. I mean, if she not ties the guards, she gets more money that way. The fat one. What's his name? Murray. Yes, Murray. He'll be the first to break. I should spend a few sessions probing that feeble mind. I can only imagine the wealth that gang has accumulated over the years. Like we're gonna let that happen, Lee. Well, where are you? Aha. Last That's one, probably. Such a complex and rebellious mind. A month or two in the hole should break his spirit. Let him squat there week after week. He's seen that the guards along the wall all have motion detectors. There is no escape. Slowly, the reality of his captivity will set in. And I'll get to work on his mind. Well, we know where Sly is. Inconceivable. She's no healthcare professional. Why, that's the most heinous crime I've ever heard of. Putting inmates into hypnosis so they'll tell her where they've stashed their loot. It dishonors both law enforcement and thieves at the same time. Yeah, really. I should get to work and figure out a way to break Sly out of the hole. Yep, apparently that's our first objective. So let's do just that. My next mission is tra train hack, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. You know it's all the way over there. Anyway, I won't be able to get all the clue balls today, guys. So I'm sorry about that. I'm a little bit short on time. Hopefully, I'll be able to get, be able to free Sly. Hopefully. And as soon as I free Sly, I'm gonna do the balls then. But not in this episode. So, you guys have to look forward to that. They only like train hack. Let's do this. And hopefully, I don't get run over by a train myself. There we go. That computer is part of a control system for the electromagnetic train. By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks, I should be able to reverse their polarity, thereby turning the train into a giant projectile. Without question, its impact on the prison walls should create a hole large enough for Sly to escape through. That is if it, hit, it hits the right place. And whoa, I was going around where I train myself. Jesus. All right, let's hack this computer. And hello, guard. Nice to see you. Let me just do this right quick. Good computer hack job. Now, I'll have to hack through these barrier nodes. Oh, hey, it's the first time I'm actually doing hacking, so... Well, it's... The controls are really simple. L stick to move, R stick to shoot. Well, that's the first one down. And... Oh, thank God, the guard disappeared. That's good. That's one down. The train should be picking up speed. Yep, which means... Which means it'll go faster and faster. However, we'll have to hack computers alongside the track. So we'll have to get on air once in a while. Which is really dangerous for me. Why don't I just shoot these low... Actually, we can just proceed onward. Because I'm actually a little bit short on time, so... I'm just gonna gun it. There we go. Plus, I can, I can survive that. Two down, four more to go. 
land, let the train go by, and run ahead. Because I believe the, tra the computer over here is a good distance. Yep, right here. Well, here's number three. And like, all you do is focus on destroying that barrier, so let's do this that while avoiding these homers, as I call them. Because all, all I do, they home in on you. That's all I do. While destroying this firewall barrier. I mean, this is like really easy, so you should have like almost no problem with this. But they do get harder later on, so be mindful of that. And you know what's great? Just getting for it. And come on! There we go. That should speed up the train by at least 50%. Well, anyway, for the train, because I know it's coming. There we go. Now gun for it! Actually, wait. There's might be a perk chance to actually use this power up. Come on, get to it! There we go. It's actually a good thing I actually bought that power up. All right, next one. Let's try to. Ow, ow, ow. You know, hey, you jerk. Shoot me in the back. Well, let's take care of that little guy down there is okay, so we're good. And no, I don't think so. I'm trying to, I'm working here. Jeez. And, hey. And there we go. Let's run for it. No! No! Ah! Ah! Come on! Those guys got me in a chain. Come on! That sucks. Well, I am a little bit on short time, and plus I am gunning it. You're not supposed to be hitting the wall, not me. Come on! Analog stick, why do you not want to work with me today? Ah, come on! Analog stick! What the heck's wrong with you today? Okay, I have to be really careful here. Okay, it's one down. Because I have one health left. Okay, it's one. I can make it! There we go. And Two more terminals. Wait for the train now. Got it. Hopefully I can make it. There we go. Ah, this should be the second to last one, or possibly the last one. I don't know. And oh god, the moving shooting ones. These are a little bit tougher. And hey, stupid firewall. Right, let's try to get rid of this firewall as quickly as you, we can. Come on. We're all avoiding their shots. And Jesus, like, it's like a bullet hell. Almost. Hey. Going for it. There we go. Yes, the train's at full speed. Now, on to reverse the field's polarity. All right, we'll do. Lay -lay. Last one. Which we have to do multiple switches. Which is that one right there. Ah, oh, it got me in a circled out. Circled. That sucks. Well, I got both two of the barriers down, so let's focus on the firewall now. And thank you for taking care of those homing guys for me, pal. Goodbye. Yikes! I don't think so. Like, come on, 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 run! There we go. That's the last one. Now it's launch this puppy! There we go. But we're not done yet. We still have to take. We still have to take care of those motion detectors first. Well, I nearly avoid that tank. Jesus Christ. 
Leoi! Let's do wall bombing. And, ah, apparently there's a wolf in that statue and get up here. Thank you. All the guards along the prison wall are outfitted with a motion tracking device. There's no way for Sly to escape. Unless I take those guys out with my RC chopper. So let's go ahead and do that. Basically, just bomb the heck out of these guards. They take two hits to take down, so. Be mindful of that! Jesus, that rocket almost hit me. Well, let me take on these vulture guards. And these, usually these guys are pretty dang accurate with their shots, so. Be careful. There, we got seven guards to kill, and. Well, I have another one down. And this should be number five. Yep, there we go. So two more to go. Where's the next where's the next one? There it is. Lay This should be another one bots of dust. Yes! Lay one more. Where is he? Right here. Down you go, buddy. There we go. Now Sly is safe to pass through. Sly, can you read me? How I've missed that sensuous voice of yours. Save the jocular comments for later. Do you see that hook above the train? Yeah. It's your only means of escape. Jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Then swing onto the back of the train. I've already established a safe house and downloaded its GPS coordinates into your binocucom. We'll rendezvous there. Wow, you've really thought of everything. Don't I always? Yeah, you do. Thanks for busting me out. Oh, well, you know the old saying, if you can't count on a friend to bust you out of jail, what kind of a friend are they? <laughs> Truer words were never said, wizard. Aww. That's a nice little bonding moment right there. I like that. Wait, wait, now let's get out of here. And head back to the safe house. Normally this would be around the time I actually got to bother to go after the clues. However, I am a little bit short on time, so I won't be able to do it today. So the best I can do is complete the mission. But what are we gonna, what are we gonna do about Murray though? He's still in there. Okay, here's the situation. I've done some deep database crunching and figured out that Murray is doing time in cell block D. Getting him out is going to be tough. As you know, he's not very light on his feet. First, we'll need to get Murray into an isolation cell away from the other inmates. Second, I'll need you to get a sample of the Contessa's encryption algorithm. Don't worry, I'll explain later. Third, you'll need to pickpocket a few keys from the Contessa, but watch out for her pack of bodyguards. And fourth, you'll have to deactivate her giant attack robot. Now, oh, really, Sly, I'm serious. The Contessa has a giant attack robot. <laughs> it just looks like a water tower. <laughs> I like that. Now, once you've pulled off all these jobs, We'll be ready to make a play for the big guy. Yep, yeah, basically, basically this mission's not very that long. However, they have us, they're having us do a lot of missions just to get to at Murray. Because this whole mission objective is to break Murray out of prison. Well, however, we're going to have to do that next time, guys. Well, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, anyway. Next time, we'll do the bottles and a couple of missions. So, see you guys then. This is Dark Sora, 446, signing off. And I'll see you guys next time. So, bye bye! I just like a little bonding, bonding moment with Family and Sly there. That was kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Family's a good friend.